This month's most outstanding result is none other than Yuki-kun! Congratulations! Thank you. My name is Yuki Saito. I'm currently a 27-year-old man working as a real estate agent. I consistently ranked as the top worker with the highest sales charts results within my team and am considered an elite in the company. Yuki-kun, you're amazing! And this is my girlfriend, Shiteru Furin. We've been together for almost three years as a regular office couple known in our company. Furin, it's all thanks to your support, as always. It's not a big deal. Your success is the result of your own hard work, after all. Everything up to this point in my life was great. I was even thinking about proposing to her soon. But then... Hey, Furin, after work, should we go out somewhere? Sorry, I have some work left, so please go home first. Oh, okay. Take care. Huh. Seriously? Again? Recently, Fudin's been acting really distant. We hardly get to spend time together. And it's not just because of work hours. Even on the weekends, our schedules are pretty tight and don't match up. The year-end holidays are coming up, and somehow she's getting busier with her work. Last year wasn't like this, but since she said so, there's nothing I can do about it. As I was thinking about what Christmas present to get her on my way home, something happened that shocked me. <laughs> Please. A little won't hurt, right? No one's watching anyway. <laughs> what? What are you doing there, Fudin? In the empty street, I saw my girlfriend with my colleague, Kuzuki, who happens to be the son of the company president. The way they touched each other was clearly that their relationship was more than ordinary. Oh, you can go. <laughs> we got caught in the act, huh? Huh? Kazuki-kun? What are you doing here? Are you kidding me? You know that she's my girlfriend, right? How could you? Hey, hey, don't make it like it's my fault. She approached me first, you know. Hi. What? Fudin? <sighs> well, yeah, being with you is boring. Just because your sales are good doesn't mean you'll get promoted anyways, right? What are you saying? You still don't get it? Kuzuki-kun obviously has more potential than you. Being the president's son practically guarantees his future in the company. Isn't that right? I'm sorry, but I just want to live more comfortably, that's all. Aw, poor guy. <laughs> well, that's just how it is. So don't get close to my girl from now on, okay? I can't believe it. I got betrayed by the two people that I trusted the most. I couldn't help but feel depressed about this. From the next day onward, Rumors spread within our company, and somehow I lost the job because of it. What should I do now? The manager earlier looks down at me suddenly, and I'm sleep deprived every day thinking about this. Hey, you! <laughs> huh? Me? Before me stood a beautiful woman with furrowed eyebrows, clearly angry about something. Gradually, my cheek began to feel pain, and I finally understood that I had been slapped. What are you spacing out for? Come, let's go, quick! Uh, sure. Without understanding what happened, I was led by this mysterious girl. As we left the station, she took me to a nearby izakaya. Um... Don't worry about the bill. It's on me. More importantly, I'm sorry for hitting you out of the blue earlier. No, it's... Something painful must have happened to make you want to jump off the station platform, right? Let's forget about it over some drinks. I never thought about jumping myself off, though. Huh? Then why are you wandering around like that? I've been sleep deprived these past few days. It seems there was a misunderstanding after all. The mysterious beautiful girl introduced herself as Yui Nagabuchi, repeatedly apologizing to me. Afterward, while having a meal, we engaged in casual conversation about our life. Oh my god. To think such a terrible thing happened. No wonder you've been sleep deprived. You're such a good person. If it were me, I would have probably beat their asses already. Are you getting angry for my sake? Of course! That company is dumb! Everybody treats you like you're some sort of slave. <laughs> Thank you. I feel a little relieved. Oh, that's great! Oh, and by the way, what do you plan to do now? You're not staying in the current company, right? I am considering changing my job, but after what happened, I, c I still can't find the motivation to do so. In that case, why not come to my company? Huh? 
Actually, we're in the same industry. And although it's a relatively new company, we can offer a salary similar to your current one. Would you like to join? Wow, she's two years older than me. And to think that she's the president. I can't help but be surprised. But perhaps this must be some kind of fate. Well, I'll do my best to meet your expectations. Thank you for your opportunity. I shall take it. You don't have to be so formal. I look forward to working with you. The next day, I handed over my resignation at the company. After finishing most of the handover work, I got to enduring complaints from my ex-girlfriend and Kuzuki on my last day. Hey, don't ignore me, loser. <sighs> Responding to you is more ridiculous. I appreciate your help until now. Well, I hope you find your happiness now. As promised, I joined Yui-san's company. I was assigned to the sales department just like in my previous job. However, due to the company's recent establishment, the sales performance was moderate. Using the knowledge and connections I gained from my previous job, I worked on increasing the number of contracts for properties and land. Wow! Thanks to you, we got so much work now! We're seriously short-staffed and I never thought we'd become so busy in such a short time. I'm sorry for that. Don't apologize, I'm just kidding. Actually, everyone here is grateful to you, Yukikun. No, I'm the one who should be grateful. If Yui-san hadn't given me a helping hand back then, I don't know where I might end up now. I think you probably would have succeeded anywhere. There's no need to underestimate yourself. <laughs> Thanks for your compliment. Anyway, are you free this weekend? Yeah? Should I work too in this weekend? No, um... Well, I thought, if it's okay with you, we could go on a hot spring trip together. Just the two of us? Huh? Huh? Just the two of us? Shh! Keep your voice down. I invited you to thank you for getting so many contracts. Is that okay with you? Yeah, I don't mind at all. Really? Great then. Despite my concerns about being alone on a hot spring trip with a girl I'm not romantically involved with, I was actually excited to do something on my weekend. And as promised, we arrived at the inn. Hmm, when was the last time I went on a trip like this? Hey, what should we do after this? Want to go to the hot spring already? Um, can I ask something before that? Yeah, what is it? Why are we sharing a room? Because I'm a man, you know? So... Well, the two-person room was cheaper. Besides, even though I'm the president, I don't have that much money to buy separates. I'm sorry. No, I'm not blaming you. If anything, I can pay for it. No, it wouldn't be a thank you gift for you if I let you pay. But is she really okay with all of this? Normally, a girl wouldn't think like that. Ah, uh, all right then. Come to think of it, it's been a while since I went on a trip. Until recently, I was so focused on work that I even forgot to relax. <sighs> the hot spring feels so good. Oh, are you drinking alcohol? How about you, Yui-san? It's quite nice to have a drink while feeling the night breeze. Well then, I'll just have one. <sighs> Thank you for inviting me today. Thanks to you, I feel like I've let go of some of my tension. That's good to hear. Hey, your expression always seemed tense. Are you still lingering over what happened with your ex, though? To be honest, I might be. Even though I don't love her anymore, being betrayed in such an unexpected way, maybe I was trying too hard to forget about it at work. But sometimes I do think about it. I see. But, Yukikun, even so, don't overdo yourself, okay? If you keep doing that, you might end up in bad shape. Alright, I'll be more careful from now on. Good. By the way, since you're single now, it's also a good opportunity. Maybe it's time to look for a new partner? New partner, huh? For example, <laughs> how about me? I have an outstanding figure and my face isn't bad, right? Huh? Well, soon I'll be a 30-year-old single woman, though. Not interested in that, huh? Thanks for the treat, and good night. No, it's not like that. Yui-san is very charming, and... <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. 
Since Yukikun's face is turning red too, I think it's time to go to bed. You might not be able to wake up tomorrow, you know? That's right. My face is turning red not just because of the alcohol, but I couldn't say it at that moment. Knowing that Yui-san is thinking like that to me, I'll continue to work hard. Setting new goals, getting my motivation up from Yui-san during the hot springs trip makes me wanted to work even harder than before. Our performance improved further, and after six months, I was promoted to department manager. And one day, we somehow made it to the final candidates. Oh, this is thanks to everyone. What are you saying? It's all thanks to you. We wouldn't have made it without you. We had a crucial competition for the company's fate. Competition for the construction site of a large shopping mall. Over 10 rival companies fell one by one, leaving only two standing. I can't afford to lose in this competition. It's the perfect chance for revenge, no matter what. The final competitor was none other than the company I used to work for. Most likely, my ex-girlfriend and even Kuzuki would be participating. Thanks for your hard work. Oh, Yukikun, are you still working? Thank you. Yeah, it's a crucial battle for me, so I can't afford to lose. I see. Well, maybe I'll stay a bit longer too. Huh? Yui-san, you should have gone home by now. It's quite late. I can't just go home carefree when my workers are working hard, right? <laughs> Is there anything I can help with? Well, then, how about grabbing a meal with me after I finish my work? Huh? That's not something I can help with, but... <laughs> for sure. Thank you. I'll tidy up right away. Hey, don't overdo it, okay? To settle the score with the past, I meticulously prepared until just before the actual competition. And then came the day of the competition. Oh, Saito, is that you? So you're still alive, huh? <laughs> so, you've joined a growing venture company. Well, you're probably just normal staff there, like always. Yeah, we should both give it our all. Good luck to you. <laughs> What's with the act? We don't need to put in too much effort. After all, we're part of a major player in the industry. Seeing the same old two, I felt relieved. With this, I could knock them down without any regrets. Next up is... I shall make them regret humiliating me. When I stepped onto the stage, I explained the high traffic volume of the proposed land, its public convenience, and the presence of rival companies in the vicinity based on the materials. It seemed to be well received in the venue. <laughs> this can't be true. There's no way we'll lose to them. In that case... Yukikun! Congratulations, you really managed to win! Yui-san, thank you. Finally, in various ways, I could kick back, and it seems like I can start over. Well, that's good. Oh, right. How about I take you to a fancy restaurant to celebrate? Th that's not necessary. I would be happier to go back to the izakaya where I had my first meal with you. Really? Well then... Yuki! Wait a moment! As I was spoken to, I turned around and found my ex-girlfriend and my best friend together. What do you want? Um, well, do you want to get back together with me? Huh? What are you saying, babe? Shut up! You're just a toy from the beginning. Yuki was always my one true love. Uh, how could you? You're nothing but a president's son. You can't do your job. You're a low-brained idiot, and you climb the corporate ladder through connections. Are you really certain to claim me to be your true love? I still remember well how harshly you rejected me, you know? Oh, that was just heat of the moment things. It really is different. Yuki, you believe me, right? You always do. I guess you found out that I'm the section chief of a growing venture company now. Well, you see... Can you shut the fuck up and stop making moves on my boyfriend? Y Yui? What? This is a problem between Yuki and me. It's none of your business. It does concern me. I am Yuki's girlfriend now. You who only see men as a means to an end should just disappear. What did you say? Yuki-kun, let's just go. Yeah, you're right. I don't want to deal with this evil scum anymore. Goodbye. Wait! Wait! Yuki! 
Yuki! Hey! Yuki! Are you coming over to my house today? That's not fair! <laughs> After that, it seems those two naturally parted ways. I'm sorry for butting in earlier. No, it was a big help, and I'm sorry too. That time you had to pretend to be my girlfriend to scare her away. Oh, no, it's totally fine. I actually thought it would be great if it turned out that way. Oh, wait, what am I even saying? <laughs> Yui-san. Uh, please forget it, it's really nothing. No, I won't forget. I like you too, Yui. Huh? Are you serious? There's no reason for me to lie, right? But I'm like, older, you know? Our ages are not that different, so I don't mind. In fact, I find it cute. Aw, Yuki-kun. Will you go out with me? I'll make you happy for the rest of our lives. Yes, please take care of me. A few days later, I heard a rumor that my former company, where I used to work, was on the brink of bankruptcy. It seems that since I left, they couldn't acquire new clients, and their performance is in bad condition. Fudin got caught cheating and was laid off, while Kuzuki faced demotion. On the other hand, my current company expanded further, and due to an increase in employees, the headquarters had to relocate to a new place. <sighs> Being next to you really calms me. That's good to hear, although I've been extremely busy lately. Yeah, so I was thinking, before we get too busy to find time, why not get married soon? Marriage? We've only been dating for about two months, though. Time has nothing to do with nurturing love, right? If you're so negative about it, here! Yui? How about we start having fun and celebrate life now? It'll kill two birds with one stone, don't you think? What? What's the other benefit, then? That would be... a baby. <laughs> Wait, Yui! This joke is going too far! Stop! Ah! In any case, challenges lie ahead. But as Yui's boyfriend, no. Husband now, right? With a baby planning, I will support her for the rest of our lives. Thank you for watching! Please subscribe if you like the video! Bye!